just alone and scared. There's nothing here, darling. This isn't home anymore. Clearly someone like driving so much the first time, she wants to come again. Maybe I did something illegal. I don't know. We won't talk about it, right? <laughs> Can you guess the next job on the bus? Today, I'm sanding the walls and sealing and preparing the space for paint. I want to showcase the wood look in our schoolie and ensure that the plywood doesn't get damaged from moisture because some parts of the bus have already started to warp, so the sooner we can get them covered up with stain, the better. That was an awful job because it was all hands up in the air just like putting up the ceiling except that you've got like this vibrating device and you are there for a very long time. Either way though, it is done. Everything is sanded to the best of my ability because I can't be bothered doing any more. And over the next few days, I'll be coming in and I'll be sealing the ceiling as well as the window sills and then painting the wall. Very excited. After a big day of sanding yesterday, I started my morning with some garden therapy and learning a new skill. My friend's basil went ballistic and she asked me to help her dehydrate it so that she could actually use it in some bolognese as opposed to it going to seed before she could use it. I happily took on the task and used the dehydrator for the first time, which as I expected was very simple. I am back for day two of painting. The other day my friend and I absolutely smashed it out and we sealed all the ceiling and the window sills on this side of the bus and also painted the first coat of green paint. Today I'm back to do a second coat, which this looks amazing. I think it looks, it's really given it like a really nice warm color that I'm really happy with. So here's just the comparison between like the stain and no stain. Stain, no stain. See how it's kind of like flat, the color? Oh, this is kind of like warm. Can't remember, I don't think we put stain. Actually, no, I think we did put stain on this one. So they are just two different colors, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna start with the green paint because it is way less stinky than the stain. The green wall is all done and looking amazing with its second coat. Oh, I think I missed a bit there. Oh no, it's just wet. Okay. Yep. And looking great. I I absolutely love the green color because it's nice and dark and it's going to prevent it from looking dirty with all the foot traffic that is going to go through this area. And so to match the wall, I actually want to also paint our kitchen island. Our kitchen island is just an Ikea island. We absolutely love it, but it is white and it's very susceptible to getting dirty. So I'm just going to go around and give it a coat of green oh, yeah. first layer today and then I'll do the next one. Um, most likely not tomorrow, but the day after. Looks good already. <laughs> 
all the green done now to move on to the stain the stain is really smelly i must say i am not a fan of the quality that we had to end up getting but it is what it is one thing i didn't mention is i came to the bus and freya our cat wasn't there so you might notice my lack of worry and stress and this is because i assumed that she probably went to our old house which is just down the road since our bus is parked at our neighbor's house so I decided to do my coats of paint and stain with the door open for ventilation and then I was prepared to go see if I could find her. All right, second coat is done and it's looking so freaking good. Let me show you. I guess that is one advantage of all this rain that we've been getting. We're finally getting some sun, as you can see today. It's supposed to be a week of sun with a bit of rain here and there, but not nearly as much as we've had. And we've got a plan B to get off the property um, otherwise. So there's going to be a way where we can get the bus in the next week or two but the advantage at least is that we get to seal and paint everything and not be breathing that in um hopefully it'll all dry and be ready to go by the time we finally get the bus i went onto the bus and i couldn't find her today so she must have gotten out of the window hey free puss puss hey Oh, it's alone and scared. There's nothing here, darling. This isn't home anymore. Come here. Oh, baby. You're lonely. You're lonely, aren't you? Yeah. But this isn't our home anymore. Oh, baby girl. Jamie. Oh, you're so alone. Oh, I feel bad putting her back on there. Hey, you're an outdoor cat. It's so hard to be an indoor cat, isn't it? It's so hard. At least you get to adjust this way. Yeah. Far out there, guys. Look at the wildness of the garden. <laughs> so maybe I was doing something after all. And all the tomatoes are coming in. Oh, I'm devastated. Devastated. Is there anything for me to harvest? Oh, those ones are pretty much ready. Oh my God, Freya, I'm not Sam. We don't do this. Ow, it's painful. <laughs> I know, she's so lonely. She's so lonely. Clearly someone like driving so much the first time, she wants to come again. That's how I take this. Hey. <laughs> Remember, this is our new home now. You can't be coming back. This is your new home. Yeah, the bus. Yeah? Let's go. Let's get you back. Little puss, happy and secure. My first harvest has been done. Since I was at the property, I went and harvested a couple of the zucchinis, some basil, some jalapenos which are teeny tiny but hopefully they'll be okay and as many of my potatoes as were ready because I mean they take 90 days I worked hard for these potatoes just because we moved out a week early from harvest doesn't mean I don't get to enjoy them all right so maybe I did something illegal I don't know we won't talk about it right <laughs> On my drive home, I noticed a blackberry bush wild with berries by the creek, so I decided I just had to stop for some. Picking wild blackberries always reminds me of my mum, who used to do this Yum. while growing up in the Ukraine. So, shout out to my mum, this one's for you. And 
luckily we have a bunch of junk in the back of the car to pick into.